Hey, it's Lane with WinRTSource.com, and if you don't download this, you're crazy. Every single Friday, we feature an app or game that deserves to be on your service or other Windows device. Be sure to subscribe to see that video every week, and please remember to comment and share. Today, we're featuring Gleek, a unique Twitter client from a unique developer. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is obviously the spelling. It will be difficult to find in the App Store because of that, but I will, of course, leave a link in the description, or you can head over to the blog post, which will be linked here as well. The next unique feature is the ability for you to change the tweet source. That's the little tag at the bottom of the tweet that says, this came from Tweetium, or this came from the iPad Twitter app, or Twitter.com. So you, by default, it's going to say Gleek, but you can change that to a few different comical options. Microsoft Secret Lair, The Dark Side of the Moon, House Stark, Daniel Rubino's Spare Bedroom. So that's pretty interesting. I like that. Then you'll go ahead and add the account. I'm going to use the website's Twitter account here. You can show links in the sidebar if you tick this option on. Uh, otherwise, it will open web links in Internet Explorer and snap that to the side. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a bit. Of course, you can update this later if you need to. Go ahead and tick these on. Uh, tweet marker, that's going to keep track of where you are on your Twitter stream when you're using another client so that when you uh, log into Gleek, you don't have to scroll for a while to catch up. Uh, essentially, it's a bookmark for Twitter. So you want to have that on. You can have the tiles update in the background. Um, what it's going to need to do, if you have your uh, background apps full, it's going to need to remove one. Go ahead and switch these search settings on so that it shows people and timelines and mentions when you, uh, or mentions from your timeline rather. Okay, so this is your home screen. You can see Tweet Marker right here. That's Tweet Marker in action. That's where I left off a few minutes ago on my other Twitter client. Your stream is going to be on the left side. Messages, friends, and followers. Friends means people you're following. Trends, lists, mutes. So all of your important information is right there. And then there are some customizable columns that you can add here. Images, latest updates, and then you can add your own column for a specific um, Twitter uh, individual or business that you want to follow or hashtag. Next I want to show you back over here at the top of your stream. You can easily see anytime you've been mentioned or retweeted here. So let's say if you wanted to go and say thanks to someone who retweeted you, you'll find all of that there and you can find the different users down there. And this is the source that I was telling you about earlier if you don't know what that is. So you can see I sent this tweet from Tweetium. So those are the basic features. I also want to show you in settings, you can change the look of the app. So you can choose to use the light theme. It's going to restart. So you can see the light theme, it just changes it from black to white, but still uses the same accent color. And then you can go ahead and change to any of these other colors that you would prefer to use. Next, I want to show you what it looks like when you open a web link. So let's go to one of my tweets here. So you open the web link, it comes up in the sidebar in a nice mobile thin format. You can also expand it by tapping on the left arrow here, and then you can hide it by tapping the right arrow. Or if you tap this button here, it's going to open that or snap that in Internet Explorer, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it works pretty well. Those are the basics. We really like Gleek. It's very unique, and uh, we hope that you guys liked it too. 
Again, you can find the link for the app in the description. You can also find a link to the blog post associated with this video there, where you'll be able to learn more about the app and download it there. Thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe, like, comment, and share.